Grade B. Oh, one more thing. A little caulk and paint make a carpenter what he ain't. Welcome back to Sawdust and Wood. Today we're going to do a video on coping baseboards and it works the same way for crown molding. And real quick for y'all that don't, that don't know, you can only cope, use the coping method on inside corners. So reasons you may want to use the coping method is most corners are not 90 degrees perfectly. So the coping method gives you some play, whether the corners a little bigger or a little smaller. And I'll show you that after we cope a, a baseboard. And also if you use wood for your baseboards, as the seasons change and the humidity, those boards could shrink, they can expand and contract over time. And where you have caulking at, you'll start to see gaps. And I'm sure you've seen that in older houses or some jobs that's only a couple years old, those baseboards are starting to come apart. So it's a tighter joint, it's a tighter fit, and it holds up better over time. Let's get started. All right, so I got my baseboard here. We're gonna cope it. So what I wanna do is cut an inside 45. Set your saw to 45, cut an inside corner. All right, now that we got the inside corner cut, I'm gonna show you how to cope it. All right, now you can see where I got my inside 45 cut. Now this paint line right here, I'm gonna do what they call a back cut. So I'm gonna try to cut it, it doesn't have to be perfect, a 40 degree, 45 degree back cut with the saw. So I'm gonna go with my coping saw and I'm gonna try to follow this line. And what you wanna do is you wanna make some relief cuts here. See, look, I'm going to cut right to the white line. To the white line. Couple relief cuts. Now I'm going to put the saw. I'm going to kind of come in on an angle. Alright, my piece had fell. So I got my, cam my camera fell. I got it taped down. So I got my relief cuts. Now I'm going to come in on an angle here, and I want to get to that white line. Once I get to that white line, I'm just going to keep cutting. And I'm going to try to get as close to that white line as possible. Got that piece out. All right. Now I'm gonna put some relief cuts on the edge because you gotta be careful right here not to break these small pieces. The relief cuts are gonna help. I'm just gonna tell y'all, I'm no pro, as you can see, at coping this baseboard, but I'm gonna show you a trick that is really gonna help you. All right, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna show you how to make it perfect. All right. This is what we got. Let me show you how it would fit up. All right, this is how 245 degree boards would cut if you didn't cope. The thing is though, if the angle's not 90, you're gonna be off, you're gonna have a gap. If this, this bottom of this floor would not be perfectly level with this floor, it'll be cocked a little bit. So this is just, I just wanna show y'all the mitered 45s, okay. So now we'll put a piece of baseboard in and we'll pretend like this is the corner here. 
this is the piece I just coped and see you can push it in and get a fit but if you look right now you can see the gap I got I'm gonna show you how you make this coat fit this board perfect all right I got this piece of 180 grit sandpaper and the back is adhesive so it'll stick on whatever I put it on so what you want to do is you get a piece of material of the baseboard a piece of scrap that you got laid over and you want to take this piece and sandpaper and fit it with the profile of this board of this base that you're doing Make sure everything fits good you see what I got I got some sandpaper stuck to this board so now you want to get the piece that you cope which is here and you fit it right onto the groove of the and you just run it like this push it down and sand it to fit now that cleaned it up a lot so now let me show you how it would fit so here's our scrap piece and now we in like that fits pretty decent you can sand it some more and get a better fit if you want but a little caulk in there and some paint and you're good to go thanks for watching today i hope you learned the trick about coping baseboards this is the way I do it. I just find it's easier. Like I said, I don't do this every day. I've seen other people that are really good at coping. But one thing you gotta remember, woodworking when you're fitting baseboards and you're, or framing a house or whatever, with wood, nothing is always perfect. And your miter cuts may be perfect, but the floor or the walls you're putting your baseboards to will not always be perfect. More than likely, they won't ever be. But if you take the sandpaper and take it down, you can smooth the profile of the board down to where your cope is going to fit really good. So I want to thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day. Oh, one more thing. A little caulk and paint make a carpenter what he ain't. That's the saying. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't be scared to try this. This is not a hard technique practice it but like i said with the sandpaper it's going to help you a lot have a great day